Hello fellow brawlers, I'm Karos time and it's time to brawl. <laughs> I feel short when I'm sitting. As some of you are aware, there are some inconsistencies within Brawl Stars. For example, Penny, she attacks with bags full of money. That would hurt a lot, right? And she does 1300 damage. And then you got Griff who literally just attacks with only nine coins and he does way more damage. Well, for today's video, we're going to be ranking brawlers based off of how much damage their attacks would actually do in real life. First off, we've got 8-Bit, we're going alphabetical order, and he shoots lasers from an arcade machine. Now you got weak sauce lasers, like the ones in a laser pen, and then some lasers are used to cut diamonds. But he's literally a video game, so I'm thinking like duck hunt laser, like it might be annoying if it gets in your eye. You should be like, oh, stop, stop hitting me. But you know, otherwise it's really not gonna do much damage. Next we got Amber, who is a fire breather. So pretty much like a flamethrower. I would not want to be attacked by a flamethrower. I think it's fair that we put her right in the S tier. <laughs> now Ash is gonna be a little controversial. It looks like he whacks people with a broom, which could hurt but that's not actually what's happening here. If you read the description, it says, get out of the way or you might bite the dust. He literally attacks with dust. So we're gonna put Ash in the F tier. I mean, you, you get dust in your eyes, that could be annoying, but you know, you could also just rub it out, wash it out with some water, you're gonna be fine. Next is Barley who throws delicious drinks at people. Um, yes, in Brawl Stars they are toxic, but in real life, you'd probably just be like, thanks for the free drinks, Barley! So, we're gonna put Barley in the F tier for being so nice to everybody. Then we got B, who attacks with bees, and that's a powerful B, look, 3080 damage. Would it deal that kind of damage in real life? I, I, I don't think it would. That stinger could really be annoying. It's not gonna kill you, unless you're allergic to bees, but otherwise, it, you know, you'll recover. Next we have Bell, who attacks with what the game describes it as, an electro rifle. Like, you get hit by that, a bolt of lightning like that from a distance, it's gonna knock you on your feet. That's gonna be pretty painful. So, Bell is our first brawler into the A tier. Next, we got BB who attacks people with a baseball bat. I don't know about you guys, I don't wanna get hit in the face with the baseball bat anytime, but the real question is, how strong is BB actually? This is tough. I'm gonna put her in the B tier. Close to A tier. It could hurt. You could, you could probably. Kill somebody with the baseball bat. I don't know how I like where this video is going. <laughs> now, Bo attacks with arrows, but at the end of the arrows are actual explosives. Arrows are deadly enough already as it is. Add some explosives to the mix and it's like, you're pretty much not gonna recover. And that means Bo makes it all the way up into the S tier. And our next S tier brawler is obviously going to be Brock. You don't wanna get hit by a rocket. Like, never ever do you wanna get hit by a rocket, especially a big one like this. Like, oh my word. Straight up to the S tier, might even be the most damaging brawler in real life. Bull attacks with a triple barrel shotgun and that deals damage, especially up close. Now, if you're further away, then it might, you know, might not kill you. So like, we'll put him in the A tier. Def definitely better than Bell, maybe, maybe, maybe Bell goes down, okay? The A tier for Bull. <laughs> that's, that's a lot of damage. Now in Brawl Stars, Buzz can do a lot of damage, especially if you're up close. But if you pay close attention, he just attacks with, he, he blows a whistle. He's just blowing a whistle at you. I mean, that could be annoying. I mean, nobody wants to be at the pool and have a whistle blown on them. It's just kind of embarrassing. I'm speaking from experience. But that's pretty much all it's gonna do. So we'll put him in the F tier. Now Byron is a snake oil salesman. He shoots people with a little concoction that's supposed to remedy and heal them. It looks like it deals some damage. I don't know what decides whether or not that he poisons people or heals them. One thing's for sure, I wouldn't want to drink whatever it is, so I'm putting it in the C tier. Although if you're allergic, B tier might make sense. We'll put it in the C tier for now. Okay, next up we got Carl, and he literally throws a pickaxe at you. Like, that would hurt, right? I wouldn't say guaranteed death, but it's, it's close to, you know? We'll put it in the B tier, be safe right there. Now we got Colonel Ruffs. If you read the description, it says that he shoots twin lasers. I mean, in Brawl Stars, I wouldn't want to get hit by these, but it kind of looks like he's attacking with a, a child's toy gun, right? So uh, I'm going to put him in the C tier with our other laser shooting friend, 8-Bit. Okay, next we have Colette. If you pay attention to, to, to this, she's blowing kisses. Do you hear that? Listen, listen to this. She, she blows kisses at people, like, okay, depending on who she, like, on your relationship with her, you might want to kiss with her, you might not. My guess is you probably wouldn't want to kiss from Colette, but unless she's got some really bad cooties, then I, I think her kiss deserves an F tier. You might even enjoy it. Next, we got Colt firing off with his dual pistols. I would not want to get hit by either of these revolvers, so uh, I definitely think he deserves the A tier position. That could be a lot of damage. Now, Crow literally throws daggers dipped in poison at his enemies. I don't know about you guys, I would not want to get hit by a thrown 
dagger right in the chest dipped in poison like you might not die immediately but you're going to which is why crow also makes his way up into the a tier now daryl fires off with two double barrel shotguns it's it's like bowl but twice as bad you still gotta be really close in order for it to really take you out but I, I think he's at least rated higher than bull now in case you guys didn't get the pun dynamite throws dynamite at people two sticks of dynamite in the face you're not going to recover which is why he gets up into the s tier now although the punches from edgar in brawl stars do hurt a lot he's literally just attacking you with the scarf let me show you how much that hurts oh no oh no it's just in fact, it kind of feels nice. <laughs> Sorry, Edgar, your scarves don't pack very much of a punch, so I'm putting you right next to Colette. Now, Bruno's kind of funny. He's a wrestler, and wrestlers don't punch, but that's how he attacks. Still, I would not want to get punched in the face by uh, El Primo. Look at those biceps, right? I mean, he's, he's a pretty buff dude. And those pecs, oh my word. One of these days, I'm going to be buff like El Primo. <laughs> okay, no, I'm not. <laughs> I feel like he could mess you up. I I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put him in the C tier, although... There's an argument to be said for B tier, depending on how many punches to the face you take. If it's just four punches like he does in Brawl Stars, yes, I think C tier is fine. Fair. Next, we got M's who attacks people with hairspray. Okay. I use hairspray every day. Oh, man. You don't get good looking hair like that without some good hairspray. Don't you guys in the comment section say that Kyrosim doesn't use hairspray. He totally uses hairspray. That means M's in, in the F tier, although I would not want some of that in your eyes. That would, that could hurt. That could really hurt. <sighs> Just kidding, I'm not gonna do that. Next up is Frank. Now, Frank does wield a very hefty hammer. However, it's not the hammer that deals damage, it's the shockwave that deals damage after he's smacked the ground. I know Frank is strong, he's a pretty buff dude, but that's not gonna do a lot of damage in real life. Next up, we got Gale, such a sweet old man, using his snowblower to shoot snowballs at people. Last time somebody threw a snowball at me, we were having a snowball fight. It was fun. Which means that Gale goes into the F tier for actual damage. I changed my mind. Snowballs can hurt, okay? C tier, <laughs> at least C tier, they, they can hurt. At least more than Mr. Lasers over here. Up next, we've got Gene, who, uh, well, if you read his attack description, it says he shoots out balls of magical smoke. <laughs> so F tier? C tier? I mean, smoking's not good for you, right? You know? We'll put him next to Barley, because that makes sense. Okay, next up we got Griff. You know, we kind of already mentioned him. He throws nine coins at you. This is the attack I want him to throw at me, right? Right, dollar bills? It might hurt a little bit, but I'll gladly take some of that to the face. <laughs> money, 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 money. Next is Jackie, who, as you guys know, rides around on a jackhammer, and what deals damage to enemies is not her jumping on their faces with jackhammer, but the shock waves that comes from it. Now, I had a neighbor who was putting in a pool in his backyard the other day. I should say it was the whole week because it took a long time and the noise was annoying, but I'm pretty sure it didn't hurt anybody. So Jackie gets down into the F tier right next to Frank. Now, Jessie's kind of similar to Belle, except she attacks with a shock rifle. Now, I don't know if shock rifles are real or not, but I think the closest thing you could get is probably like some sort of a taser, right? It's not gonna kill you, but it would really hurt. We'll put her right next to Belle. Next up, we got Leon the ninja literally throwing out spinning blades called shuriken. Surely you don't want to get hit by them. They could deal some damage. Less than crow, you know, because crows are dipped in poison, but same thing. You could die. Next is Lou, who attacks with snow cones. He literally throws snow cones at people. I don't know about you guys. I feel like you can never have enough snow cones in your life. In fact, I would, I, I, I'd just be happy with a snow cone. So we're going to put him in the F tier. And we'll put him next to Barley because they're both delicious. Now, I don't know what Max attacks with. They're like energetic blaster something. The, the description of her is that it shoots a blaster, a blast of, of energy or something. I don't know. I'm mostly confused about Max's attack. I'm going to put it in the B tier and just be a little generous with it since she's a superhero. And yeah. Next, we got Mortis who attacks with a shovel. Uh, I don't know about you guys, I don't want to get hit in the face by a shovel, so, uh, I'm gonna put him next to BB in the beads here, I feel like that makes sense. Next we got Mr. P who throws suitcases at people. If somebody tossed a suitcase at me, like, I'd probably catch it and it might hurt me, but most likely it's not going to. So I feel like the C tier is perfectly fine for Mr. P. Okay, now Nani's kind of interesting, she, it looks like, a, some sort of zappy electric things or something like that, right, which, which could be dangerous. If you read the description of her attack, it says that she fires off three light orbs. I am trying to think of a time when I have seen a light orb in person or anything like it deal damage to someone. <laughs> I feel like the worst thing you could happen is some sort of light orb on a photograph. Like it ruins your picture, right? I'm telling you guys, glare. 
it's an issue, but it's not an issue to be anything more than F tier. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, Nani. Now, Nita makes the ground quake with a shockwave of some sort is what it's described as. I'm gonna put it with Jackie and Frank because it's kind of, it's like the same thing. I don't know how this child is making the ground quake, but whatever. Now, I've never seen an actual weapon that shoots nuts and bolts at people. And you know, even though it's homemade, I could see this doing a fair amount of damage to someone. I feel like B tier for Pam is fine. Like, that makes sense, I guess. Okay, now Penny, she has a little pistol that she fires off bags of coins at people. And like, I don't know about you, I would not want to get hit by a bag of coin like that, even though I would really like the money. <laughs> that definitely deals more damage than what like, Griff does, so I feel like C tier is fine. Now, just in case you didn't know for some reason, Piper literally fires a sniper rifle. Those can kill you. Not explosive damage like the S tier brawlers, but definitely worth the A tier. Hey, but then we got Poco, who literally just serenades with his enemies with music. <laughs> Such a nice guy, Poco is. I don't feel like I need to explain it. I, uh, F tier, makes sense. Now, Rico literally fires off bouncy balls at his enemies. And, uh, you know, that's definitely not gonna kill you. But anybody that says F tier clearly has not been shot in the face with a bouncy ball at high speeds. Now, unlike El Primo, Rosa actually is a boxer. And to add on top of that, she has freaking spikes on her gloves. Like, that, that's not, that doesn't feel good. So sorry, El Primo, but you just got passed up by Rosa. Now, Sandy's funny because he literally just throws sand at people. It's like, pocket sand. Yeah. Sand's usually not going to hurt that much, but it might get in your eyes, and that could be really problematic. So we're going to put him in the C tier. Definitely more damaging than Mr. Dustbin here, right? But, you know, also C tier. Next, we got Shelly. Shotgun, man. I don't know what to tell you. It, it, it hurts. Not as damaging as, like, Daryl's or Bull's shotgun, but it's still going to hurt. I feel like A tier makes sense for her. Nobody wants to get hit in the face by a cactus, especially one that explodes on impact. Could it kill you? Maybe, but I think B tier is fine for Spike. Then we got Sprout, who also attacks with thorny plants, right? And then explode on impact. What is Star Park doing to these plants? B tier makes sense for Sprout as well. Now, for those of you guys that aren't paying attention, Squeak throws out little tennis balls covered in his dog drool. Yes, they explode into dog drool. <laughs> it's kind of like getting hit by a gross water balloon. We'll put him in the F tier, probably better than some of the brawlers in here, but yeah, you get the idea. Squeak's gross. Next we got Stu, and if you pay attention, he literally fires fireworks from his fingers. He's like, pew, pew, pew. I've had my fair share of fireworks exploding in my hand before on accident. It hurts. Now Stu's fireworks don't look too big, so it's probably not gonna kill anybody, but we'll put him in the B tier. Next we got Surge, who attacks with energy drink. Little splashes of energy drink. That could be refreshing. We'll put it with the other refreshing brawlers like Barley and Lou. Next we have Tara who throws cards at people. Now, most people probably couldn't deal very much damage with card throwing, but I've seen some videos where people could like throw cards through watermelons. I don't know how good Tara is, but she could deal some serious damage. Still not quite enough to justify the B tier, but I feel like C tier is a good place for Tara. And finally, we've got Tick who attacks with not just one, not two, but three landmines. I don't know why each one deals so little damage in Brawl Stars, but in real life, they would hurt. And that means that Tick goes right up into the S tier with his explosive damage. And there you have it, a tier list based off of how much damage brawlers would do in real life. Maybe you disagree agree with me, maybe you agree with me, this isn't meant to be serious, but feel free to get real angry in the comment section and let me know your opinion. If you like this video, make sure you guys subscribe for more videos, including an actual competitive Brawl Stars tier list that I made just last week, so make sure you guys check that out. You can watch it right here, as along with some of my other videos. Don't forget to use code Kairos in the Brawl Stars shop to support the development of all of my videos here right on the channel, and for now, this is Kairos time ticking by, and we will see you in Brawl Stars, a scary place where bees can deal more damage than a rocket launcher.